So we're the concept project. We're a multimedia company that brings awareness and drives change to social issues by conducting physical and mental challenges. I'm Emmy Deswani, and these are my co-founders, Adrian Delacoli and Garrett Roberts. Um, yeah, there we go. Um, so the problem that we are now trying to tackle is the demise of small businesses that have happened during the pandemic. One out of seven small businesses have permanently closed, leading to 22.2 million jobs that have been lost. Eight million Americans have fallen into poverty. And through this, pan or through this concept project, we are targeting uh, three industries. Uh, the first one being accommodations, food and services. The second one being arts, entertainment and rec. Um, and the last one being educational services. And what we were trying to do is just paint a picture about how the pandemic has affected those small businesses. Jared just said it best. We really think we have an opportunity to relearn our economy because of the mass uh, behavior changes that we've witnessed through the pandemic. Um, we have an opportunity to relearn. And so what this will be, um, the opportunity here is giving an inside look as we'll be going in and conducting interviews with multiple industries and with multiple small businesses and painting a picture and documenting how the pandemic has affected eventually leading to a full on documentary, which will be at the end um, of the project. That's wonderful. So businesses, small businesses are not the only form of opportunity to participate. Uh, we have participation completely throughout the way, and um, you can walk alongside us, bike with us. Um, you can support us and cheer us on from a stationary position, or you can come and safely watch the interviews go down. You also have another way to offer your support to us through donation. Uh, we, we decide that um, involving professionals who understand what is the best use for our money um, is the best way to go about it. And we have chosen the Barstool Fund, which has made uh, incredible inroads in saving sa small businesses and promising to keep them afloat throughout the pandemic. Lastly, we take suggestions. Um, if you wanna improve us, we're here to hear you guys. And uh, anyone can make suggestions easily. We try to be as accessible as we can to the general public. And uh, going back to the educational service industry, UMass Lowell will have the opportunity. Um, I haven't talked with anyone internally yet with, uh, inside the school, but hopefully it'll be the dean and she'll give her or we'll do an interview with her and she'll explain um, how the pandemic has affected public education, how the college scene has completely changed over the last couple, or couple of years. And so this isn't our first time doing this. We've already completed a few concepts addressing social issues and we've figured out formula. We've been on national and local news. We've raised tens of thousands of dollars and we're just still, we're perfecting a formula to drive change. And so far it's working really well. The business cycle, it's gonna happen in multiple provinces and multiple states with multiple athletes and multiple influencers who are using our formula to um, hand out in, uh, in exchange relationships between these small businesses. Ours is happening from Kittery, Kittery to Maine over, Kittery, Maine to New York City over eight days. And so while we do this, we're gonna be stopping at local businesses and conducting interviews with them to see how the pandemic's affected them. And this, this will be content that will be broadcasted to show people and raise awareness for how the pandemic's affected everyone in different ways. Um, as I said earlier, our, our physical efforts, which makes us donatable by, by biking there, um, we'll raise money through that way. We haven't chosen the instrument for the highs and lows. We used GoFundMe, but we are hoping to create our own fund. Therefore, we won't have to deal with the cut that GoFundMe takes as um, from us. And throughout the way, like we said before, we'll be documenting and displaying multiple externalities the coronavirus pandemic has had on small businesses. Here's our research. Yeah with the budget that we uh, have allotted for the business cycle. Whether or not the budget is given, uh, the business cycle is going to happen. So yes, and we plan to do that the third week in May. Right. That, that's five. Uh, and that's uh, yeah, that, that's it. We're, we're all set.
short. Well, in which case, fantastic, because I missed the one minute warning. So thank <laughs> you for being on time. Uh, I was actually, I, I was actually, I'm not gonna lie, I was actually looking at your website, so which I really enjoyed. Um, oh, so you. with that, I will defer to our to our esteemed judges, and uh, we have about ten minutes or so for them to pick your brains and, and ask you questions. So um, you can either you can uh, you can stop the screen share, you can keep it going if you have more information on there, whatever you prefer. Uh, it's up to you guys. We have we also have three uh, additional slides in our appendix that explain our first three projects and how they've been completed. If you're in the next um, but we're we're open to your questions and we'd love to hear them. Okay, fantastic. 